So you want high quality shadows in your scene? Welcome back to Test by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at getting more high quality shadows to lay across your gorgeous scene in Blender 2.8 EV specifically. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab our light here, hit uh, G to move it over a little bit. And I'll go to the light tab right here and go to area, switch it to an area lamp, because this doesn't seem to be a problem unless it's an, an area lamp or a sun lamp or anything like that. Because point doesn't make a difference, but we'll go ahead and go to render tab so I can see, so I can show you exactly what I mean. We can go ahead and move this around, you can see that there's no, there's no, you know, messed up, jagged shadows or anything like that. If I go to sun, same thing, no jagged shadows. Spotlight, same thing, no jagged shadows. You can see we actually have that shadow right there. It's very, very nice, very soft. But if we go to area, you can see if I were to move this around anyway. If I move this around and go to square, change the size up, you can see that we have uh, those jagged edges, which is not which is not good. Um, so we can go ahead and fix that a couple different ways, but let's go ahead and grab this and make it more harsh. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Something really bad like that. That's terrible. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and go to shadow down here. We can uncheck this or turn it on and off. Um, but we can we can mess around with a couple of these settings here. We can mess around with the softness. We can mess around with the clip start or the bias. Um, we can mess around with the exponent, and all of these are going to help us get this a bit soft. So if we turn the exponent down a little bit and turn the bias up or uh, up a little bit, yeah, we turn the bias up a little bit. You can see it's getting much softer, which is nice. We can go ahead and move our light around. You can see now that we have a little bit of softness there. We still have that little bit of a weird thing right there. So let's put that right there and see if we can fix that up. We can turn the clip, the clip start up and down, but that's not going to help us out with that. We can turn the softness. I think the lower the lower we're going to go, the softer it's going to get, so we'll put that down there. We can turn contact shadows on, and what this will do is if we add another mesh by hitting Shift A, add like a plane S to scale it up, you can see that if I were to turn contact shadows on and off, you can see now we have that little bit of a shadow in the back there, which does help sell a little bit more realism. We can turn softness up for that bad boy as well, by the way. All right, so that looks good. Um, let's uh, get rid of that. No, let's get rid of that. All right, now if we go ahead and go to the render tab and go down to shadows here, you can see that we have uh, this uh, all these new settings. We can go and turn soft shadows on to make this 100% soft. You know, maybe you don't want that hard edge, but that's not always the best because if I put that plane back in, you can see that it also makes uh, this shadow soft. So it kind of kind of takes that away. Which is fine if that's what you want, but uh, it, it looks it looks a bit, a bit strange if you want the harder shadow. So let's undo that. Um, let me put that light threshold back to 0 0.010 as well. Uh, if we turn the cube size all the way up to 4,000, you can see that these shadows right here much higher quality than that. Um, so we can also do that. See these lines right here on the edge? You see that? There we go. Yeah, much, much better. And you can see it's the same thing, the same ordeal on our cube. So that's that, that's how we fix that up right there. If I go and go back um, and do this one more time, you can see, oop, no, not that low. You can see those are the hard edge shadows. If I put this back up to 4,000, boom, they're instantly nicer. So that is, uh, that is those are the ways to fix up your shadows. Uh, this will get a little, uh, a little rendery, though. You can see if I move around, there's a little bit of grain there. If I zoom in and out, you see there's a little bit of grain. So you might need to bump up your render samples um, just a little bit. Uh, for the actual render, but that is it for today's video. Hope you guys learned something new about how to fix up your lighting, make it so it's not jagged like, uh, wait, wait a second now. Make sure it's not jagged like, wait, oh, move, move over. There you go. Make sure it's not jagged like that. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, bye bye.